Welcome to open box education. In this video, I am going to explain about her transform. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and share to your friends. So here, this is the photograph of Alfred Haar who introduced this Haar transform. So here it is the algorithm to generate the Haar basis. So within that one, the step one is determine the order of n of the Haar basis and next step is determine n where n is nothing but log n base 2 and in step 3 determine p and q values so here the p and q values are given as so this p is in between 0 less than or equal to p less than or equal to n minus 1 if p equal to 0 then q equal to 0 or q equal to 1 that is if p equal to 0 here q has either maybe 0 or 1 and if p not equal to 0 then the q value is in between 1 less than or equal to q less than or equal to 2 to the power of p and in step 4 determine the k value where the k value is given as 2 to the power of p plus q minus 1 so this is up to the step 4 and in step 5 we have to determine the z value so this z value is in between 0 and 1 so which is given as 0 by n comma 1 by n and so on n minus 1 by n and in step 6 here if k equal to 0 then this har function h of z equal to 1 by root n so when k equal to 0 then the h of z can be represented as 1 by root n Otherwise, we have to represent this Haar function hk of z equal to hpq of z equal to 1 by root n. So, 1 by root n into plus 2 to the power of p by 2 when the z value is in between these values that is q minus 1 by 2 to the power of p and q minus 1 by 2 by 2 to the power of p. And this hk of z value equal to 1 by root n minus 2 to the power of p by 2 when this z value in between q minus 1 by 2 by 2 to the power of p less than or equal to z less than or equal to q by 2 to the power of p otherwise this hk of z value equal to 0 so these are the steps which we have to follow in this har transform to generate the basis function so here it is the flowchart to compute the har basis the first step is determine the order of n and after that we have to find out that uh, value of n that is a small n value which is given as log n base 2 and after that we have to determine that p and q values and after that we have to determine that k value which is given as 2 to the power of p plus q minus 1 and finally we have to find out that z value and from that we have to calculate that the har function hk of z so this is the procedure we have to follow for generating the har basis so now we will go for one problem so that we can understand very easily about this har transform so here the problem is given as generate one har basis for n equal to 2 so for this one the order is given here it is 2 and from this one we can calculate that the small value n that equal to log 2 base 2 that is nothing but 1 so here the small n value equal to 1 then the value of the p is only a 0 value because here n equal to 1 the value of p is 0 if the value of n equal to 2 then the p value may be either 0 or 1 so here n equal to 1 then p equal to 0 so when p equal to 0 then q value may be either 0 or 1 so already we discussed that if uh, if p equal to 0 then q value may be either 0 or 1 so from this here we got that p equal to 0 then the q value may be either 0 or 1 so from these values we can determine that k value that is k equal to 2 to the power of p plus q minus 1 where q is either 0 or 1 and p equal to 0 so from this you can get the, the k value either 0 or 1 that is when p equal to 0 q equal to 0 then k equal to 0 when p equal to 0 and q equal to 1 then the k value equal to 1 so from this we can determine that the z value so here already we know that the z value in between 0 and 1 so here we will get the two values as 0 by 2 and 1 by 2 and in step 6 we have p equal to 0 and q either may be 0 or 1 so now we have to go for the different cases in that the case one is if k equal to 0 then already we know that the h of z is given as a simply 1 by root n so where n equal to 2 then we will get that 1 by root 2 when k equal to 0 
then the hard basis function h of z equal to you will get 1 by root 2 belongs to for all the values of a z and next uh, we will go for that case 2 so for k equal to 1 p equal to 0 and q equal to 1 then here we have the conditions that is uh, z value in between 0 and 1 then it can be represented as 0 less than or equal to z less than 1 by 2 and 1 by 2 less than or equal to z less than 1 and third condition is otherwise so here this is the h of z that is the hard basis function so based on the z value you will get that basis function so here for z equal to 0 the boundary condition 1 has been satisfied so this is the a boundary condition so when z equal to 0 the boundary condition 1 will be satisfied then h of z equal to 1 by root 2 into 2 to the power of 0 by 2 you will get that 1 by root 2 when z equal to 1 then the second boundary condition will be satisfied here this is the second boundary condition that will be satisfied so you will get that the basis function h of z equal to minus 1 by root 2 into 2 to the power of 0 by 2 that equal to minus 1 by root 2 so this is about uh, h of z uh, when k equal to 1 so from this hard basis for n equal to 2 is given as when k equal to 0 and n equal to 0 you will get that 1 by root 2 when k equal to 1 and n equal to 0 you will get that 1 by root 2 and when k equal to 0 and n equal to 1 you will get that 1 by root 2 and k equal to 1 and n equal to 1 you will get that the h of z as minus 1 by root 2 so this is about that hard basis for the order n equal to 2 so thank you very much for watching this video to watch more videos please subscribe to my channel open box education